bomb. Four remaining. What's up, guys? Today we're doing Operator Guy on how to play as Montane in Rainbow Six Siege 2024, starting from Operation Deadly Omen and forward. Shield buff has been crazy good for shield operators like Montane, and today we're going to talk about how to play and rank up and honestly frag out as Montane. Let's get to it. Loadout. I mean, you have the shield, obviously. And you have the, the choice between the P9 and the revolver. This has so much recoil. I mean, I highly suggest running the P9. It's... You should not be running. You can run it with a muzzle or a suppressor. It honestly doesn't really matter. Most of the time I've been running with nothing. So it shows you how much it really matters. It's not gonna really gonna be any kick. I'm not gonna run a suppressor on it because I don't really care about being suppressed when I'm Montane. I'm drawing aggro. And when I pull the pistol out anyways, it's not really gonna matter. I strongly suggest not taking the revolver. You got a couple options for gadgetry. You got Harbridge Charge. If you feel like you uh, might need a Harbridge Charge, might need to function, open up a hatch or open up a wall, not a bad option. You have smoke grenades. You can throw smoke grenades safely behind your shield to close off an angle so you can push it and focus only on one angle at a time. The EMP impacts, if you're trying to help a hard breacher, actually open up the wall. A lot of good options. I can't tell you which one you should run all the time. I would default to smoke grenades, but I would swap between hard breach charge occasionally and i'd only bring emp impacts if i'm working specifically with the hard breacher so you're playing as montane you can full sprint with your shield up like blitz you can full extend your shield so they can't shoot you at all unless they get around you so I, most of the time i'll be walking forward like this so that i can't really take any real damage and i can fast entry by just jumping straight through barricades and doors like that like so so most of the time when i'll fight people like this i'll like lean all full extend. I usually wait for them to try to run away from me, or if I feel like I can just beat them in a gunfight, I'll put my shield down. They'll try to shoot your feet a little bit. I crouch to block my feet, and then I'll just blow them away with the P9. ADSP is really fast. You can reload behind your shield, so you didn't feel like, you know, you don't win that firefight. Make sure, don't just do like what you do as every other operator. Take shots and run away. You can reload safely behind your shield, so you're better off just reloading like straight out in the open like this while it's like, you know, you take a firefight and then you do reload. And you come back into it. So, normal monster gameplay, you're the tip of the spear. You are drawing aggro, pushing enemies out of positions. Let's say we're attacking Schley top floor. As a Montane, I might do something like this, push up through the door, like have my back against the wall and just kind of circle around an enemy team and if i can find someone that's isolated that's not really focused on me and is focused on all the other attackers that have guns smoked them really quick and with a quick melee anyone that gets close to you is as good as dead knocks them on their back and you'll get a quick finish we'll go through some of that with the gameplay clips not much else to say monte is a pretty simple and straightforward operator to use that's why we're really going to be focused on the gameplay aspect of this because one thing to explain Montane and one thing to actually play him properly because I see a lot of people play him really passive and you know Montane is a goddamn wrecking ball now let's go through why so first let's go through how Montane used to be so this is Montane how it used to be it's just a little less aggressive I can only really, really whip my gun out when they're not really focused on me the melee kind of exposes you reload I kind of turn to the side to get a reload off I get shot a little bit while reloading Sprint, I put my shield down. ADS, I have to expose myself. Now back to the new Montane. I mean, this is me being a cheese ball. You know, it is what it is. Running down the staircase. Full sprint, shield up. Just get to a spot where they're not really gonna be ready. We see one, we see two. The K wasn't paying attention to what my was, but I think I can probably smoke the K coming around the corner. We fire, we kill them both. Well, my sprinting over knowing that his teammates exposed. So we take them both out. Well, my thinking that I can't really defend myself, but I can. Run over, quick little melee on the frost, finish him off, free kill. Goyo, last alive. Not much you can do there. 
He's just going to get sack tapped. <laughs> so the biggest thing that people need to know is when you're playing Montane is be aggressive. I see so many Montane players just so scared to take an actual fight. Mozzie almost kills me there, but that man has an empty gun now. And we get the free finish. Taking him out. Doc trying to shoot me. Can't do much. Suppression effect. If they shoot your shield, you won't be able to move quickly. So if they shoot their entire mag at you, you're not going to be able to move very fast. But Montane, I can just lock up and we're good to go. Reload off. Malusi and a Cade. I think I die here, but we do finish off the Cade. Just like that. So again, smoke smokes me off. We run in. Get to a position. Don't really want me to be at. He's in danger. Shoot him a couple times. Let's do crazy. We take one out. Definitely helps if you have a good shot here. Trying to find the dock. I think we do end up killing him. Mozzie. The dock is still alive. We go after the Mozzie while the Cade is engaged and we take them both out just like that. So the biggest thing I want to show you guys with the, all these clips is that you do not need to be passive. I'll see these Montane players hiding in corners or whatever. Bro, be aggressive. They are way more scared of you than you should be of them. You literally have a get out of jail free card. If you feel like it's too hot, you can put your shield up and you're going to be fine. I'm just putting around like a psychopath half the time. Knowing that they can't really kill me in a real way. And... Another key thing is Montane is make sure to isolate your ones. You don't want to fight two guys at the same time because when you put that shield down, if there's two people shooting at you, you're probably going to die. So find your ones, isolate them. Try not to bring your shield out and really engage. So I saw somebody to my right, but I run past the part where he can actually shoot me. I isolate the one, take him out, even though there's technically still two there. And we let the last guy have the rest of the shots. So Montane, this is just how I go in through Oregon basement, walking all the way in, Legion my leg. We're gonna pull that out real quick. I throw a smoke just like that, not exposed whatsoever there. And now the hallway is covered. So now I know that I can just turn one side and this Goyo is not ready for that whatsoever. And he goes down, spin all the way around. Rook didn't even see me coming. And the round's over just like that. Clubhouse push. Couple guys shot their gun. So that means there's not that many bullets left for them to kill me. They're going to have to reload, keep their head down. So I go in while they're, one might be reloading. We isolate the first one, take him out. This guy's starting to shoot me through the wall after his reload. Take a couple shots. We isolate the one and we find it. Now, there might be someone garage here. I'm not sure if there is one garage, but that's why I just run past the angle. I have my shield up towards the angle and then I just run the other way. And here I'm, I am risking it. I do risk it there a little bit with turning my back to garage, but it's worth the risk and we do win that out. So here, I want to show you guys what that shield bash looks like. Here's, you know, I'm slamming, boom. There, here's the enemy Montane. I try to run up behind him to get the knife. I can't get the knife, so I start shooting his shoulder, but that melee comes in so fast and hard that you just do not want the Montane to be near you at all. Like, if a Montane's close to you, expect death. Pushing in. Theme park. Put my shield down. I have my shield up most of the time, but I put it down when I'm ready to take that fight. Last enemy is in initiation and I hear him to my left and you know, this, this ends one way every time. If you're Montane and you're not afraid, this is only going to end one way. That poor guy got dunked on. You're gonna see me playing Montane literally practically every map in different situations. Basically isolate your one, find your one and hunt them down. Valkyrie trying to get away. Not letting to get away. I see another enemy. Back turn, not paying attention to me. Another enemy not paying attention to me. Thought his teammate was holding that. We kill him that quick with body shots. I go after the other guy I just saw. 
to the corner. He tries to shoot me, realizes that ah, ain't gonna work. He, and he goes down just like that. And already it's a 4v1 instantaneously. So I circle all the way around. I'm not sure where the last guy is. Guy shooting from behind throne. Teammate in chat types, poor him. Yeah, this guy's not going to survive that. So clubhouse, I jump right through the freezer door. <sighs> poor little Wamai. He does knock my shield away. They can knock your shield away if you're not careful, but your melee is gonna have a lot more range than their melee. So as long as you're meleeing first, they're going to die. Run up the staircase. Fenrir throws a gas canister at me, but that's not gonna matter. Here, on consulate, we win the firefight with Doc. He's not really ready to really take shots there. See, most of the time you shoot at people as Montane, they're not really ready for you to actually start shooting back at them. Use that to your advantage. People think that you're Montane, you're going to stand there with your shield up, just kind of staring them down. Use that to your advantage. Get aggressive, get in their face, and win the firefight. Now on Oregon, I walk in through Big Tower. We find one just like that. Now we have a little castle and there's one to the right. But again, I'm not worried about the one to my right. I'm just trying to isolate my ones. We find the one, find the two, and then there's the three. Boom, boom, boom. Plus, when you're making that space with Montaigne, your team is going to follow you up. Even if you're solo queued. All these guys, I'm not even queued with. They're following me up because they see a Montaigne leading the charge. And if the enemy's ever trying to shoot at my teammates who have guns are going to shoot back, I'm going to whip my pistol out and kill them no matter what. That guy is going to die. Poor little Mesho doesn't realize I dropped the hatch. I opened up the hatch myself with a hard breach charge and I dropped. I push in. I see the enemy there. I circle around. We win one. We win the two. The last guy goes down. Guy was not ready for that much aggression that quickly. Jump right through the door. Walk all the way in through the Banshee and everything. Melissa comes back to sight. But it doesn't stay alive for long. I hear one close right, and uh, yeah, it's a couple of missed shots there, but still goes down. And the last guy is in freezer. Situation you never want to find yourself in, in a, <laughs> when you're in a one on one against Montane is with your back turned, trying to run away. Because guess what? He's a three armor, I'm a three armor. We're the same speed, and I'm full sprint at you. That poor guy. That poor guy. And here's the final clip, which I'm going to have muted because I had music going. It was the Doom music. So I was kind of memeing. I was going right through the door. Not much fear because, you know, if anyone starts shooting at me, I'll just put my shield full up and I'll be completely fine. So I'm running in like a psychopath. Running around, someone jumped in from underneath. I'm trying to find him. We find the doc close, but alone, by himself, and afraid, naked. And he's just getting bumpered until he goes down. Now I got the Blitz of the Montane push. This is uh, really only going to really end one way. It's a 5v3 and we have two shields up. Guy's taking firefights at initiation. He does win it though. So I know I don't need to go that way. I just push right in. Laser field not going to hurt me too much. I full extend because the guy's trying to fight me. So here, especially right here. Guy looks like he's ready to fight me, so I put my shield up to make him kind of look away, lose interest, deal with somebody else for a second. He loses interest for just that sliver of a second, and I just bumper him. I put that shield down instantly and just bumper him. So again, one more time. So he knows teammates are around the corner. I shield up. He realizes he can't do anything to me in this situation. Focuses on them instead, and I just instantly put it down and just bumper him. What's one thing that makes Montane super strong is I can go from full extend to a melee really fast. You don't really have time to blink. So that's why we do not let Montane get close to you. All right, guys, that is it today on how to play as Montane. Super simple, straightforward app to use. Most of the time I hear people thinking about playing Montane is because they're doing really bad in the game. And they're like, you know, I want to stay alive longer and try to help my team. So they'll go Montane. But that's not the case anymore. Montane is actually a force to be reckoned with. Him being able to put his shield all the way up just to get the aggro off of him, just to be able to put it down when they're not ready for you and just be able to smoke them a lot faster than you'd think. Super strong. 
The advantage over Montaigne versus like, you know, a shield like Blitz or Fuse is that full shield is going to save you quite a bit because they are going to pepper you. Like I do this against Blitz players all the time. I'll pepper their feet like crazy or Fuse, Shields even. You'll pepper their feet like crazy. Montaigne, if they start shooting my feet, I'll just full extend and they can't hurt me anymore really. And I can get into a better position where I can get a better engagement. So that's it today on how to play as Montaigne. Super fucking strong up. Really good to play and honestly a lot of fun. And it's honestly a little broken with the current meta with the TDM style rank 2.0 meta. So, you know, I'm not sure if shields are going to stay like this way forever, but right now they are strong. So try it out. Let me know what you think. And uh, that's it for today. Make sure to subscribe, drop a comment, leave a like down below for more. Let me know what operator you guys want to see next time. Peace out.